Hey everyone, and welcome back at Story Gaming for the next episode of the Medieval Sims. And we're still with Shopkeeper Blake. And I'm not sure what's going to happen next. Uh, in the last episode, we won this uh, little Pegasus figurine. And since that happened, all kinds of interesting things mm. also mm. happened. Like he's getting dizzy and we need to take a nap. And we still, I mean, obviously, this needs to happen. Just wanted to fill up the hunger bar here and then we can go for some sleep. I'm looking forward to it. And so am I in real life. When I'm recording this, it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's uh, take a nap and see how that plays out. Um... Snoring loudly, shopkeeper Blake rolled over in bed. Images of card tables and crystal balls were replaced with a glimming heap of treasure. The rising scales of the sleeping dragon uh, were visible amidst the masses of shining goblets, bejeweled crowns and countless gold coins. Oh, that's quite a nice dream. Two large gems caught shopkeeper Blake's attention. Sapphire. An improbably large sapphire sat atop the dragon's hoard. It could be Shopkeeper Blake's if he was brazen enough to steal it. Ruby. If Shopkeeper Blake was careful, he might be able to snatch the oppressive ruby lying at the base of the dragon's dash. Now, he is not the, the most aggressive person, right? We have the tiny uh, flaw, so I, I'm going for the ruby. Oppa, let's see. Shopkeeper Blake noticed the dragon waking from its slumber. It slowly reared its scaly head to inspect its surroundings. Terrified, Shopkeeper Blake escaped without any treasure, waking from the strained stream without a jolt. Uh, with a jolt. All right, so apparently we did not really get anything from this. Nope. Still have the figurine. Nothing else happened. Anyway. I'm going to break off the nap and go to real, go re yeah, go to sleep for real. A pigeon dropped up, dropped off a hastily scrawled message saying that the monarch wished to see shopkeeper Blake at his earliest convenience. It was marked urgent. All right, so we basically have two days of time. Nah, probably going there next day. But I first want to make some more money. That's what a shopkeeper is for, right? Um, 1 a.m.? That is not... That is not necessarily... Uh, hang on. Let's take another nap. Because 1 a.m. is just too early to start the day. Three fifty-five, four 4 a.m.? Let's see if he can make five. Nope, still too early. Anyway, let's start the day, I would say. Be the proverbial early bird. And maybe we can get the herbalist buff for collecting some of these. Then check the market for the day and go to the market and buy something. Might be able to buy some barley for more gems. I get the herbalist buff for two hours. That's quite nice. And when we return from the shop, it's time to eat. So turnip, steel longsword, and peregrine falcon. All right. Nothing really important. So I will not buy a turnip and sell it. It's just not... I don't care, right? Um, the steel longsword, though, that could be interesting. This is too expensive for me now. Steel longsword is 125. Peregrine falcon is 200. So let's buy this one and buy the steel longsword. I'm trying to sell both. Yep. Map to Gasberry. I don't have the funding for that yet. But we will. We will get this. 
Your sim has interacted with a bird. Now I don't know. I don't want to know about that. So he's returning. But first, before we do anything else, let's get some food. Because hunger. So it's also only 20 minutes until I get the daily drops. I'm going with trout soup to keep the positive focus up. He had a nice nap, plus 10. Well rested, plus 5. And herbalist, plus 15. Very good. I need to redecorate. This is quite depressing. <laughs> That's one of the downsides of The Sims Medieval, right? That you cannot really build the detailed. Okay, I have to acquire wood and sell it to the carpenter. I think the carpenter is not yet on the board because I do have wood. And I need to pay my taxes. That is a very easy one, actually. I can do that right over here. So pay the taxes, which is 100. Interestingly enough, there's no one here yet to give the wood to. So I th think I still need to wait. Good. Now let's put some stuff into the... Like the sword and the uh, falcon. Can actually... All right, and then let's open for business. I hope that this guy shows up. I'm not sure where the, the carpenter should come by any time now. Um, there are so many customers here. Like, I mean, this guy, for example, didn't, didn't see him in the first place. Let's see if we can... Oh, he already bought something a while ago. So let's compliment his taste, butter him up, and see if he's willing to buy more. So ask him to buy some goods. The higher the level, the bigger is the chance that I can convince them. Looks like he is willing to buy something. Maybe the parrot or falcon, whatever. With my luck, it's the wood. <laughs> Didn't I say wood? Yeah, I said wood. Here, how about you, random person? Let's get to know you a little bit, twice. Let's chat. And ask about your health. Then I can say some kind words, compliment the garments, comfort with well chosen words, compliment your taste, and then we'll see. So let's speed this up. Looking good so far. Ah, that was one negative interaction though. Now we hustle, butter up. Solitary, huh? Still, there is no... This is... This is making me a little bit nervous, to be honest. And then I ask her to buy something. The fact that this guy doesn't show up? Yeah, certainly making me nervous. But I need to go to the uh, monarch anyway. To Lady Autumn. What's she buying? <laughs> Steel longsword for 210. Nice. Very nice. So let's uh, go to Lady Autumn. Loading the castle will take ages again. Still haven't figured out why that's the case. There she is. Let's uh, ask what she wants. Oh yeah. And of course I need to do that quickly. So what? Are you just standing there? Oh, wait a second. Greetings, Blake. A pleasure to see you on this fine day. 
For your tremendous strength of character and invaluable service to the kingdom, I have declared to award you with the very first Citizen of the Century Award. Oh, and the reward comes the giant bag of gold. Congratulations. Citizen of the Century? What remarkable good fortune. I should ask the royal advisor if, these, if this award comes with any special privileges. Um, or we should start wondering why we get this stuff, right? Um... Uh, do I have a cheese? I do have a cheese. I think I can change that. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to exchange that for fresh wood. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't accept the one I already have. Let's also put all the grass weeds and flowers in here. And then sail to trade. Do I have to close it? I have to close it. And gems and a wood I can get here. One cheese, one wood. Okay, so go there and get a fresh wood. Maybe that triggers the carpenter. Um, ooh, a mermaid. While sounding uh, the depth near a dangerous reef, a pock-faced deck cadet yelled out, Mermaid! Lo and behold, as the crew gathered around the forecastle, a strange and beautiful sea creature with sparkling hair gazed directly at Blake as if mesmerized. Talk to her. What's a re uh, Was it a real mermaid or just another one of the weird, grotesque sea creatures that the Watcher conjured to confuse and frighten sailors away from the sea? Uh, there was only one way to be sure. Or harpoon it. I think we should harpoon it. Yeah, look at this. 100 XP, seafood overload buff, and whale meat. Ooh, whale meat. Interesting. All right, cool. Still waiting for the ship to come back. Right, so I got... Goose feathers for the flowers. That's nice. So open the cargo hold and get the... The wood out of there and there's the trader see it triggered after this interesting so you have to make the journey you actually have to make the journey all right so the goose feathers will remain there and we are going to deliver the wood over here still waiting for the quest that has some time so let's walk over here Let's see what we get. Fresco. 35 simlons. 35 simlons and six, uh, 30 XP. Very nice. So <laughs> we're uh, nearly getting to level 5 these days. And I'm very happy about that. So let's eat something. Maybe I can make a whale soup. Let's see how that tastes. Hey, hang on, you should not sit around there. Eat your freaking whale soup, man. That's another marvelous meal plus 30 focus. It doesn't really matter so much in the positive focus, um, but obviously I need to do the next step of the quest. So let's talk to this person and ask about special privileges. I'm still, I, I'm still, I'm a little bit confused. Why would that go that fast? Here we go. There's the royal advisor, Angel. Oh, hang on. There it goes. As citizen of the century, uh, you will of course have access to the royal facilities, including the monarch's personal washroom and dressing chamber. You may also help yourself to beverages at the royal cask, and the monarch has requested that you receive a, magnific a magnificent hug uh, from myself, royal advisor Angel. Alright, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Guess you up in the mirror, get that hug. Alright, All right. give me that hug, man. Cobra! Mm. No? Mm. Wow, that was just a little awkward. Okay. And take a bath. 
We can do that all here at the... So let's uh, gussy up. I'm still not sure what I what I'm you know. It's so weird. Hmm? <laughs> My skin looks incredible today. Not a single blemish. And then take a bath. In that wooden tub. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah. So kids, never observe a grown man when he takes his bath, right? That's just not safe for work or children. <laughs> not at all. <sighs> mm -hmm. Are you done playing around in the water with the soap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. <laughs> Well, he seems to be enjoying himself. I need to remodel this castle. This furniture is not worth it for a monarch. Look at this. It's like very crude wood. Really not cool. This bathtub has special enchantment that creates a constant steam of bubbles. How delightful. Uh-huh. All right, what am I to do? Celebrate with a drink. But uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. Let me get back to sleep. Yeah, look at this. When he is back in the in the house, it's around midnight. Yeah, told you. I'm still. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is so weird. We just did three games, and and now it's like. The citizen of the century? Really? It's like it was a dream. Oh my god, the night starts. Yeah. Just like we started off in this quest. So I need to eat more whale meat in the morning. And then see who is around. I think that's the person we, we had a... Moneylender Golda, yeah, that's the one. So okay, make the make the whale soup here. I could also go for the trout soup, that should work. You should eat this, sir. What time do we have? 641? Alright. No. All right. on gel. Uh, Minus no. 20 focus. So let's be friendly and chat a little more with her. Would you please stay here? Thank you. Little bit too much makeup, wouldn't you say? Aww, let's give her a shy kiss. You know, at least the color of her of her dress fits very good into the theme. Jessic <laughs> oh, Draven? I'm not sure what she's going to say. I don't see any, you know. But did you ever take the time to admire the magnificent plumb bob of the medieval sims? Look at this thing. Like a really natural yeah. gem with the iron. Yeah. It's just, I, I really like it. Okay, so. I got that debuff done. Now there's just nothing to do. Collect a couple more flowers. And I think I'm going to investigate the market and then buy some stuff. Oh, and I need to celebrate, of course, but I will take my time with this. Uh, what have we got? As Blake picked his uh, way past the village market stalls, he stumbled upon a curious and suspicious cavalcade of traveling minstrels. A sprightly clothed jester skipped forward and offered to sell shopkeeper Blake a tangled spring of a fragrant, refreshing mystery herbs. 
Um, yeah, let's just buy them for 10 simoleons. That's fine. So what I got, I got an uplifted buff. See, that works. Untempered longsword, nightshade, rustic pedal. Nothing of interest to be quite honest, but I want to buy the barley to get more gems. Mm -hmm. What do I have to do? Butter up two customers? Acquire gems while trading. There you go. So I need to buy the barley anyway. So let's do this. Where is it? There it is. 270. Thank you very much. And I will do this immediately. Where are you, Blake? You're too slow. Let's follow him. As fast as we can. Or a little faster, actually. That's... That's one big cannon here. All right, so pause the game. Um, I want to sell the barley. That's quite a lot of it, actually. 20. And I'm going to... Oh, sorry, I hit the mic there. Um, did, 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 did. Uh, barley for gems. Fancy clothing. Uh, I could get the go jeweled f uh, ring for the goose feathers, which I have in my inventory. And herbs and seeds are going to be transferred into gold. So let me put this stuff in here as well. I'm not sure if he's interested in the wildflowers. Anyway, um, herbs, blood moss is a herb. So let's see if we can sell that. I could sell the seeds, or at least some seeds, right? Let's see. If I sell 10, how much money that will be? I'm not sure if there's a better way on doing this. All right. So, get out, and then we travel to Tredoni. Sail to trade with Tredoni. Go ahead, sir. So I should get the gems afterwards. Get the XP. Nearly level 5. Ooh. Rokerans the tuck had tucked the ship a few miles off course. In the distance, you saw several ships converging on what appeared to be a small atoll. When you got closer, you praised the uh, uh, the other approaching vessels. They aren't vessels at all. Uh, they were monsters. A massive dire whale, an enormous man of war, a ghastly spirit army, and even the mighty kraken were converging on an atoll itself. Uh, you spied unicorns, Golems, goblins, a maniacal crab bandit, and more. It's clear this was to be the ultimate th throwdown. Yeah, I'm going to watch this, not joining this. All right, what we got from that? That was awesome. <laughs> we got the awesome buff for one day, plus 50 focus. And, of course, level 5. Healthy profit margins when buying and selling goods. Very nice. So, we come, we came back. So I get three jeweled rings. Nice. Barley for three gems. Um, three jeweled rings is really good. I will leave the remaining barley in there. Now I can give the gems to this person. Yep. 
fulfill that task. And then I need to butter up two customers to buy something. Yeah, I think I can do that. So let's see. Do we get anything good? Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Javen Konsek of Falsi. Why are you not talking to this person? Here. Would you please do that now? Go here. And then deliver it. Will that work? Zorin. Dreyfus. 60 simoleons, 30 XP. Nice. Okay. Now I have to open my business. Check merchandise first. Oh. And then I should eat something, huh? Almost 4, 5 p.m. Put in the rings. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then open for business. Uh, or not? Should we first eat? Yeah, let's eat first. Um, I think seed porridge is an order for today. I got so many buffs. 20, that's plus 70, plus 75 focus. That should work. Platinum through the roof. You eat your seed stuff. And now let's see. Is there any customers around? This person, not gossip. Um, chat with him, get to know him, and be nice, and be even nicer, and then you butter him up. And why are you talking behind this? And then hustle. Let's see how that works out. I don't need to sell, I just need to butter him up twice, right? I can ask him to buy something. With level 5, there's a reasonable chance that this would be successful. There you go. Awesome. We're getting there. I'm getting all the necessary money. What did he buy? The Falcon for 260. So that was a good margin. Merchant? How about you, sir? Let's see if we can just butter him up and sell directly. 20 XP, nice. Yeah, look at this. You can ask him immediately to buy something. So, if you are really good friends with these people, you get to sell more. Obviously. That's nice. So, and after this, I'm going to do this celebration stuff. What do we get? Bottle of ink for 15, uh, 14. That was not that much, but uh, I think that's that's okay. So let's brew something here and celebrate with a drink. Uh, more wine? Sure. <coughs> Floop. <laughs> <laughs> and get a drink. I don't know, man. <laughs> this, is, uh, this quest is weird. I wonder if I can get any other prizes for being citizen of the century. Maybe I should ask Royal Advisor Angel about it. Yeah, maybe you should, man. But don't overdo it. I'm not sure. Might go away, you know? Like, that would not be good. Well, Trader Blake, your luck has been so stupendous that I might recommend revisiting the Fortune Festival and indulging some games of chance. Sure, I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to do that right now. Oh no, look at this. They're gone. They're gone. Is that it? Is that the end of the quest? Entire festival is gone. How is that possible? What is happening? Oh. Blake is again going to be arrested? We're going to find out what this is about. Oh no. Do we really end up in the stocks again? Suddenly, Constable Eckbert was right by Trader Blake's side. The constable cleared his brawny throat and read from a scroll, Trader Blake, for most heinous crimes against the crown, including uh, the ghastly murders of several peasants, discret oh my god, theft of the royal treasury, they have been sentenced to execution in the pit. May the watcher have mercy on your soul. Are we really going to be executed? We're going to find out. Next time, here at Stordier Gaming. Until then, I hope you liked it. I'm Stordier. Bye.